Hey, I'm gonna spend a little time with these horrible friends of mine. <laughs> and although it may seem out of line, they're just horrible friends of mine. Have some fun, them and me. I don't know where it will lead. Are they strange? Can't you see just how happy we will be? Tell a joke, laugh and stare. Awkward silence if you dare. We'll relax, all for one. All we do is endless fun. Would you like to go seek and hide? With those horrible friends of mine Feeling down, they will turn the tide Oh, those horrible friends of mine Random thoughts rule the day I don't quite know what to say Is it work? Is it play? I could do this every day Will you come? Be with us? It's so nice to see you here Not a rush, not a fuss Have a seat, let down your hair I'm so happy you're on this ride With these horrible friends of mine We'll always stick by your side Me and these horrible friends of mine Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another Queen City Comedy Show. Uh, we are so very excited not only to be hosting one of our fabulous, fabulous virtual teams, but you just heard uh, our debut of our theme song, These Horrible Friends of Mine, uh, by one of our members. And I'll let you tell, let them tell you who they are when they come on to do some introductions. Uh, so today we're going to be doing a long form inspired by some truthful monologues and your suggestions. Uh, and we'll go for about 45, 50 minutes. So you'll get to see lots of fun, wonderful improv today. But let me bring out these horrible friends of mine and we'll have them do some introductions. Turn your cameras on. Here they come. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, and before all of my shows, I love for the performers to introduce themselves. And I always ask them a question and they get very little time to think about answering. So they're going to tell us their names, where they're calling in from. Uh, and then they're going to answer this question. What is your favorite thing about warm weather? An activity, a food, whatever that shall be. Your favorite warm weather activity. And I will randomly spotlight people and you will introduce yourself. Oh, hi. That gives me so little time to think. I'm Chris <laughs> from Ireland. <laughs> Why? Oh, and I, I, well, I'll say that I love to go outside and, and, and jog and rather than jogging in place indoors when it's cold. <clears throat> um, and when I or when I have an excuse not to not to exercise because it's cold. Great. And who are you and where are you from? Didn't I say I'm Chris from Ireland? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm so glad to be here. Fantastic. Next. Hi, uh, I'm Carolyn from <clears throat> Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And my favorite activity, which I started yesterday, is gardening because we have every tree flower everything coming out all at once right now in north carolina and it's gorgeous but it's especially good if you don't have many allergies so <laughs> awesome awesome next hi i'm ron an american living in bulgaria and my favorite Summertime activity is probably the fact that I'm a psychology professor and I have all summer off so I can do whatever I want. But a close second is it's tomato season and this tomato smells like nothing, but in the summer they smell like tomatoes. 
Awesome. Awesome. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Michael. I'm calling from the Philippines, the beautiful tropics. And my favorite warm season, warm time activity is going to the beach, swimming in the sea, and letting the seawater dry in my skin and form into salt. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I said warm weather because for some of our players, it's always warm weather. All right. Uh... <laughs> what of those is me. Hi, I'm Jody. I'm from uh, Rockhampton in Eastern Australia, where it's regularly over 100 Fahrenheit. Uh, so my, I was going to be sarcastic and say my favourite thing about the warm weather is when it stops. Uh, but it's lovely having bright sunlight every day. It's it's. Um, good for your mental health it's nice blue skies beautiful uh part of the world awesome wonderful ah i am joe i'm uh from america but uh shipped to barcelona in this box and uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, in in summer my favorite thing is uh sweating on vinyl furniture all right oh. fantastic fantastic <laughs> next Hi everyone, I'm Jen. I'm from New Delhi, India, and like it's 40 degrees here. So Jody, yay! <laughs> and, uh, and like uh, my favorite thing is like to to grab a bowl of ice and like eat it, like the chipped ice, and cause like you get a brain freeze after a really long time. It doesn't get instant, so it's not really cold for me. But we can eat ice right now. Me, I'm um, mute myself because I'm Jess O'Neill. I am in, I'm a Kiwi living in Liverpool in the United Kingdom. Um, I like, I was very much an indoor kid. So the reckoning that I do with summer is taking a lot of my board games to the park now and just get a load of buddies and we'll just sit there and play Risk outdoors instead of at a kitchen table. Awesome, awesome. Hello. Hello, everybody, Mabuhai. My name is George, and uh, I'm a Filipino in the Philippines. Um, <laughs> my, where it is like half of the year, warm to hot. My favorite activity uh, during warm or hot weather is um, dragon boat rowing, where I can feel the wind, the breeze on my face along Manila Bay. Awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful. I think I got everyone. Uh, again, my name is Carla. My favorite warm weather activity is air conditioning. <laughs> not a young, I'm not a young, not a young person anymore, y'all. I get hot fast. That's all I gotta say. All right, so we're gonna jump into our long form, and I got a great suggestion from a friend of mine out of, of Georgia in the United States, not the country, uh, Sean Bailey from Never Decaf Improv. This whole long form is inspired by the word shine, shine. Shine. Thank you. One, two, one, two, one. Come on, put your back into uh, it. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. You've got this. Uh. I know it's hard to get back on the wagon after a long time of not exercising, but you oh. have got this. Uh. Uh, yeah, Come on. yeah. You can definitely. be your best selves. Uh, now, how's that feel at the end of that workout? Awful. Ooh. Yeah, the first one back's going to be a bit rough. But if you stick with it, every oh, I... day, every sore muscle is getting you closer to being your best self. Oh, I, I know you won't. You won't even let us skip it, Tammy. You'll, 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 you're gonna show up right to, to me and melissa's front door and you're gonna you're gonna rouse us out of bed damn and... straight i will because it's anybody can start a, a workout campaign on their own using something they saw true true story so um when i was younger uh i didn't need to work out that much because you know my metabolism was burning stuff and as i got older i started to put weight on and i decided that I needed a workout so that I could put on some more muscle because muscle burns calories more than fat and I like eating. So I work out for all the wrong reasons. 
it's easy to get two or three days in. You're just following some guy you oh, saw on boy. Instagram and then you quit. But if we're doing this together as a team, yeah. I quit the team. <sighs> Melissa. We're, we're... I can't take it anymore. I just can't take it. But can you take living with yourself if you're a quitter? If are you those quitting? are my choices, yes. Now, hang on. Can I clarify? Are you quitting just the exercise group that we've all formed, or are you also divorcing me? <laughs> that escalated. <laughs> I'm doing. I, I just want to clarify. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought sorry, I honey. could slip that in. I was doing the two for one. No. <laughs> Um, hello. What? what? Hello. Oh, oh, what? hi. Uh, I, I would love, I'd like to take this home. We'd, we'd like to take this home. We'd like to take this home, right? Phil, right? We want well, this. That is correct. Your wish is granted. You want to take the lamp home, then we'll take the lamp home. Okay, I, I don't want to make this difficult. I, just yeah, yes, we'd love to we'd love to take this home. Okay, cool. So, sorry, I came on a little hot. Then I'm just um, I'm really sick of people picking up that lamp and thinking that it's magic. Because I promise you, it's it's not. Like that same lamp has been returned by like some very disappointed people. So I'm just gonna okay. level with the two of you. It is not a magic lamp. We are not accountable for the fact that that is an inanimate object. Okay, so if I rub this, if I shine this, nothing's going to happen. It, it'll just get shinier. That's much like with anything made of that metal. See, so Phil, <clears> it's <throat> just going to get shinier. It's just going to get shinier. So one of my favorite things to do is to uh, to visit the, the thrift store or charity shop, depending on where you're from. Uh, they might call them different things. And I, I really like to browse the books. And, and you know, there's always these shelves of, of paperbacks usually. It's usually just the crap that people don't want. So you'll see just a lot of trash romance novels, trash adventure books, trash spy things, spy thrillers. And 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 really, I have a list of books that I I know I want. And I, it's a pretty short list. So I'm never, I'm, it's so rare that I actually find something that I like. But that one time, every so often, every, every once in a while, I'll find a book that catches my eye. I look at it run it through my my mental algorithms look it up on goodreads or something and i'll be like you know what this is a good find and i'm paying like one dollar or one euro for it and it's amazing yeah so i i promise you it's i i'm i again i'm sorry i i just don't understand why people don't want it okay. i understand i mean and i understand the reaction this is what i want phil phil what are you going to take Take, grab something you want. It's on me. Maverick, I also want the same thing. The lamp. You, you can't, this is my, this is my lamp. <laughs> we both know, Maverick, that the lamp is just a decoy of, you know, trying to attract people with all the glitter and gold that you, Hoard in our house. With a name like Maverick, how can I resist trying to attract people? Our last storekeeper, please. Yeah, so, sorry, I just, um, you know how couples go into Ikea and they argue and it's kind of infamous? <laughs> Always the in the bedding. Yeah, the relationships I've seen break down in this thrift shop. I'm sorry, I just, I didn't want to, I was trying to be invisible because you okay. seem to be sort of going through. Edit, something. edit, edit. <laughs> that, that, I, I, I stole, I stole the coffee grinder because nobody was paying attention to it. So I just thought I'm just liberating it from its 
I, 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 I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, Derek. You, you stole it. And you, you said, I, your, your mother said that I was dreaming. I, your son couldn't do it. He's an angel and everything. I knew you would steal it. I know how you like the smell of that coffee. Don't you? So which one did you drink? The expensive one or like the cheap one? That's my question. Dad, I know, I know you love the expensive, but it's, it's the cheap one that sends me to heaven. So, so, so you drink, you, you drank the cheap one, right? You, 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 you drank the lowest one of the Nescafe, right? That you, you, you're still, yes, you're still, <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at, you. Look at you, you are, and you are a coffee addict, just like me. I was like this, like 15 years ago, drinking coffee, trying to smell, to take a sniff wherever I can and look where I am now. I'm with you and your mother. I'm successful. That's what I'm talking about. You are going to be successful like me. <laughs> but, but, but dad, you, you have expensive taste. Mine, mine is cheaper. No, nobody gets successful with cheap things. Look, Derek, it's, it's fine for your age. You, and it's, it's, you are what, like a teenager and you will grow up into liking expensive stuff. Like the older your nose gets, it will like it will start smelling less and then you will be like expensive and because like us people who are like you who are like the parents not like the us people like whenever you are like in the parent zone it's like you smell things less you are you're not that very very sensitive with the nose whenever i'm in the mall and there's a three-day sale weekend before I say, okay, I'm gonna buy everything today because it's on sale. <laughs> everything that I need that is on sale, I, I only go to, to, um, to the stations in the department store or groceries where there is a, a placard that says sale. But I've learned my lesson. Um, I mean, it's just a ploy. I mean, they say 70% off, but really not everything is 70% off. They can't even tell you which item is on, on sale for 70% off. Now, whenever I see sale, I, I control myself. George, don't. Don't. <laughs> look, look, Derek, now, now what we're going to do, we are going to buy a lot more of coffee and you are going to go through a lot of coffee sniffing, coffee tasting, and coffee drinking. That's how you're going to become successful like me. I am a multimillionaire. I started my own coffee company. It's called Starbucks, and you know me now, right? Everyone knows me now. And that's how it's going to go. There is no thing. It's, it's just coffee. You have to believe in yourself. It's just coffee that we, have, we are selling. That's it. Just the coffee. But that, it's... It's that you have you have self control. I I don't know if I had it in me too. Because it's cheap, because it's cheap, I I don't I don't have to control myself. Because it's everywhere, it's everywhere. It's easy to acquire. I don't have to control myself. That is good. Son, you're feeling it. Just grab, just grab this. This is the most intense coffee that I ever made. It's Java, it's mocha, it's cappuccino, it's it's latte, it's it's everything that you need. It's the ultimate coffee. And it, it's and it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> It's so intense, I'm sweating all over. I've lost feeling in the tips of my fingers. Oh my God. Okay, I mean, how are we all doing here? Are you sure I can't get you a round of milk? You were really adamant that you didn't need it and that you all love spicy food. I need some milk. I need milk, I need tequila, I need anything you have that'll stop this pain. And, and actually, if you have anything with heavy cream, that might even be better. And a lot of sugar, because sugar dilutes the intensity of the spice. Okay, super duper. I will be back with those, but um, I just want to take this time, as we do with all of our patrons here at, at um, a Spicy Butthole restaurant. Um, 
is um this should be a humbling moment you guys came in really hot saying that you could handle it and you couldn't so i just want you to sit in there i'll be back with your <laughs> you know he's totally right i gotta get out of here we came in here really cocky and and now we're reduced to what we really are it's getting hot in here edit 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 <clears throat> well so i'll grant you let's just say three wishes one, uh, one each this is perfect great I, you guys can divide them the way you the way you'd like um thank you for rescuing me uh if I've been trapped if for a long I time. Kill, yeah. If I kill these two, do I get three all? Wow, that um <clears throat> you know, I've been doing this a long time. It's a uh, uh, murder usually doesn't come up this fast in the negotiation process. Well, um, that's what happens when you have psycho friends, right? This is I I I save I save Michael's life and I save your life genie so so you both have to give me your wishes that's it it's it's it, i need more wishes that's it my first wish is to get more wishes i get right. I, I get thousand wishes right and i watched jay save you two uh because i didn't want to get involved because of the bystander effect i didn't want him to stop that all right, all right. look guys we're, we're in a we're in a nice restaurant you guys are sitting down to a very nice dinner why why don't we talk this out this won't cost you a wish will and, and maybe by the end you you'll 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 be friends again because uh, do, uh, do genies eat should we get another chair or are you just gonna you can you float just float above no i'll, I'll just watch you guys eat I, I like watching humans eat like what what do you eat what so is it like do you do uh, you, you know, like I, the smell the, the smoke that come out but I, I don't know what <laughs> that's such a funny thing to say i mean a lot of people don't don't add, I, I do subsist on the smoke. Thank you. That thank you for asking. It's usually enough to keep me going. But uh, yeah, I, I this is I, I'm I'm really I got everybody except Chris. That's just it's such a funny thing that for you to say that you're gonna quit your job as a genie. We have a job uh, to protect. We I, are genies. You know, I I just kind of I got a really a taste for the simple things, and I I want to try human food, and I want to. As Go genies, shopping. We don't, you know, get our wishes. We give out wishes. We grant them, but we don't give them. Well, maybe that's got to change, Chuck. Maybe that's got to change. It 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 is. <laughs> oh, is someone there? I've been on hold for twenty minutes. Is that is that a person? Hi. It's so hey. nice of you to call. I'm here to serve you. Please let me know what your issue is. Okay, cool. So I just checked my bank account. Um, it should be totally fine, like I've just it, but it's telling me that I have um, negative 842 wishes um, and it should be well into the thousands of wishes. Well, um, you know, this, this has happened on your account before and uh, it's usually when someone wishes for more wishes and that just kind of <laughs> snowballs and what you get is like a wish vacuum and that will just suck all the wishes completely out now there is a procedure where you can uh reclaim your wishes but it will cost you and it will also be painful for everyone who made a wish oh fuck's sake. okay well honestly like i the reason i joined this particular bank is because you told me that my wishes were interest-free so i don't understand where these great big wish fees are coming from oh um, i see i, I freeze tag out tag out jess um hi yeah finally got i got a person um so hi how can i serve you today yeah i i was um entranced by this siren and um <laughs> I, I do feel like my life's been taken over and I just want, uh, I don't know, like, do you do refunds or is it like, um, I, I see. Well, first, first we're, we're going to have to know exactly what type, was it the type of siren that sounds like she was, or was it more like a, the, the first, a little bit the, more like the first one, the first one, more of a, yeah. 
sound okay. No, I mean, it was, it was, uh, it was actually the most beautiful sound in the world. I can't, I probably can't recreate it, um, but it I, was. Hang on, Chris. Hi, is this a person? Do I have a person yes. here? Hi, how can hi, I Hi, hi. Uh, oh, this is great. Hey, I found a pot of gold uh, under a <laughs> rainbow. And uh, do I need to claim this on my taxes? Well, um, did you kill the leprechaun or just injure him? <laughs> Um, no, I, I didn't, I, I don't think, I, I don't think so. I don't think you, okay. I don't so think so. What, what we'll need is a, a death certificate on, on the leprechaun, and then you can <laughs> oh. claim it tax-free, but Ooh. otherwise. I am almost done with my tea, so you can read the the leaves. Well. Mm. I'm still mm, enjoying mm, the mint from the tea. Mm. Well, I'll so refreshing. I, I love this mutual tea reading group that we're in. It's really lovely. Well, the leaves on my tea says, let me read it. Today, you and your teammate will have a grand time oh. doing an activity outside. <laughs> huh? Oh, okay. Um, well, I'll read mine then if you're going to read yours. <gasps> You should not be using a bag when you want a tea reading. Oh, I did it wrong. <laughs> oh. Edit, edit, edit. It's all right. It's all right. All right, ghost hunters. <clears throat> We're going to barge into this old spooky mansion. Peter, you got, you got uh, the thermal camera? Good, good. Uh, Rebecca, you've you've got the high, highly sensitive microphones. Got it. Good. Rest of the team, you're all set. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. Ready. I'm, late. I'm sorry. I'm, late. I'm yeah. ready. I have all the cables, wires, all the hookups. Welcome, yeah. Thomas. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I I brought the thermos of coffee for everyone. You can just I just uh, I have I have cups I, here. Uh, and I have some cream uh, in the bag and everything. All right, else. I'm I'm glad you're here, Thomas. I think it's all time for us to talk about the elephant in the room. That last time we went to a haunted, spooky house, Thomas flipped his lid and ran running like a scared child. Yeah, it was very still, What was that? What was that? Still talking about that. Everyone does it at least once, don't they? I've I've never done it. No, nope. not, not, not me. That, no, no. I do this Very for a living. I do. We're professionals. For real? Did the rest of you not hear that? What? What's that? Why are you looking at me funny? Did you not hear that noise? We're not wearing the sensitive earpiece. We didn't need the sensitive earpiece. It was loud as hell. Wait, wait. I can, I can, I can send something in on the thermal camera. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got the. Water pistol full of holy water, ready to oh, go. Look, I, I think we need to decide Thomas's punishment before we move on to ghost stuff, okay? Yeah, can we... It's right there! I right, think Thomas right. should have to do push-ups or something. How about that? I've been on coffee duty for the past two weeks, okay? Oh, that's too that. much caffeine. Way too much caffeine. Make him do I... cartwheel. He said I that. Can do... I can do a cartwheel. Good one, Alex. Yeah? All yeah. right, we'll, we'll watch you do one cartwheel and then we'll get back to the ghosts, okay? We, they can they can wait. They've been waiting yeah, a long time. We are here to look for ghosts and we're not here to see Thomas okay. do a cartwheel. Right? Are you ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Oh, do your cartwheel. Whoa! All right. All right. Good. All right. All right, now can we get it. Edit. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I'm here because I've seen goats. <laughs> Wait, goats? Yeah, goat, go, goat, no goat. Well, 
Both this actually. Is goat yoga. Of course I've, you're going to see goats. Yeah, but I've seen goats and ghosts and ghosts of goats. Yeah. So we were super clear in the marketing that this is a supernatural paranormal goat led yoga session. So yeah, um, I'm so sorry if this has come as a surprise to you, but I feel like we were pretty explicit. Were we not? I, I, right. I just, I was, I just wasn't, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared for the goats or the ghosts. I, I just thought it was yoga. I, I, I don't know how I missed so much. You have gotten the experience that we want most people to get over time. So be happy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm really glad. Um, Alex has just gone out to take him because you've actually Ooh. like the goats can sense your energy, as can the ghosts and the goats. Are ghosts. Yeah, so, I, I'm really grateful that um, Alex has actually gone to go look after them because you're bringing a lot of energy in here that is not welcome. Yes, yes I, I do feel that he's bringing a negative energy when these goats are to be loved and appreciated. I I, 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 I just want yeah, to get my straight. Love and appreciate me. <laughs> I, I, I just want to get my mat from underneath this goat and I'll, I'll just leave and you guys can do whatever it is. Oh, Fight me for it. Fight me for it. They're me, angry. Give me the mat. It's my yeah. mat now, bitch. I and need it. And it. You can be the greatest of all time. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll, I'll give it a shot. I mean, your cartwheels are like no one else's. I mean, it's your own. It's unique. It turns me upside down every time I watch you do it. <laughs> That's very kind and a funny, a funny pun joke. And it's a good tagline. I'll. All right. I'll. I'll. I'll go perform cartwheels uh uh at the corporate at, at our corporate event all right i'll i'll just do it look son i think you're bigger than corporate events i think it's time for you to join america's got talent time for you to shine boy <laughs> all right all right dad if you if you believe in me what can i say yes yes i'll do it all right tag out george <clears throat> Well, you're going to have to impress the three of us if you want to move on to round two. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to do uh, a triple uh, upside down cartwheel uh, with a half axle twist. Half axle. Yes. All right. Usually we, we like to hear a sob story. I don't know. Did, did you grow up poor? <laughs> I, grew, I grew up very poor on a goat farm. Uh, and uh, the, the baby goats were, uh, they jumped on everyone, but they didn't jump on me. Oh. Yeah, he, it was tough. He, he's coming to LA. He's definitely coming to LA. He has got yeah, this we don't. We don't need to see it anymore. You're, you're in round two. I'd, you've, I'd you've like to see the actual trick of oh. some sort, just to, because I know I'm the odd man out with wanting to actually see the talent, but I, let's no, see I, the talent. Boo, boo. I, I understand there's always one hard, judge, hard judge. ass judge. I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay, are you ready? He, he was raised by goats. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's obvious that he can do cart, more than a cartwheel, like. I, I just think the goat uh, thing is way more I'm, fascinating than the car I'm, wheel thing. That's I'm all. still waiting here, you know, uh, and I, uh, the whole, uh, what did you say it was, a half axle? Maybe you could do a full axle instead. <sighs> I mean, do you have to stop halfway and do a half an axle? Is that, Maybe is you could bring thing? your father out and your father can explain yeah. why he had yeah, to. What's... What should I do? You on this or farm. if you and your father could both do a half axle, then we'd have a whole axle between the no, two of you. The father. In, inside tip, yeah. inside tip. Inside yeah. tip, cry a little, cry a little, cry a little. Yeah, yeah. come yeah. on. We like crying. We we really want to see tears. Cry a little. Or even bleating. Can you bleat like a goat? <laughs> what is it with you and the goats? I don't know. I need something here. I'm not seeing or hearing or All right, I don't whatever. know where my dad is, but I'm just going to do what you asked. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh. 
<laughs> well, you know, I, honestly, I was sold on the goat thing, but that wasn't that that wasn't very impressive. I, no, no, it I it's like one like. It was a rainy Tuesday when she walked into my room. She was smoking like a chimney. I loved it. She walked up to the desk and said, Are you Detective Swanson? I wanted to answer, but I can only talk to the camera. So instead, I pointed to my name plaque on the, on the desk. I can read. <laughs> had a quizzical look in her eye, like, why wasn't I talking to her? And why did I keep turning towards the wall? You're not what I expected. I could tell she was disappointed because she just told me that. They said you were a bit more sexy than you really are. Something in her needed to take me down a peg or two, and I, I have to admit, I, I probably deserved it because I didn't look her in the eye, and I didn't talk to her directly, and I think she sensed there was something wrong with me, internally. Do you have all your marbles at this point? Apparently the internal monologue wasn't working for her, so I got my desk drawer open and I showed her my marbles. Oh. Those are some pretty good cat eyes. She looked impressed, but I was no closer to knowing exactly why she came in to smoke in my office. Maybe she was just somebody from next door who didn't smoke in their own office. There's something strange going on at my house, and I need someone to look into it. Someone who has all their marbles. Finally, we were getting somewhere. I collected my marbles and we walked out the door to my car. <laughs> I'll follow you and I'll show you where you need to go. I wanted to follow her, but I dropped the marbles and fell down the stairs. It's another day for me. I go, Carolyn. <laughs> uh, sir, you have a package. There was a man at my door with a package. <laughs> he seemed to want me to sign for <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what he wanted, but I took the package from him. I, I just need your signatures. It's, it's weird with that tone. <laughs> just as I expected. I signed the package, but I didn't sign my own name. I signed Joe Bag of Donuts as a joke. <laughs> Joe Bag 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 of Donuts. That's OK. OK. Tag out Jant. Okay, so your wife is just in the next room. She's recovering, but would you like to meet your baby son? <laughs> there seems to be a small human in front of me. I'm not quite sure, but I think it's related to me in some way. I took it from the nurse. I looked up at the biggest human I've ever seen in my life up until this point. And it's... <laughs> Boy! <laughs> <laughs> beautiful it's so tall it's so humongous but it, thank you for bringing me here I, I thought it was i thought it yes yeah i mean the long boat ride was worth it isn't it like josephine i i haven't seen you throw out like puke for the longest time like that was 15 minutes and i had it on record Armando, you are making me experience things that I haven't experienced before. The longest boat ride, 12 and a half hours, puking for two hours, and this magnificent, golden, shiny, shimmering tower, worth, <laughs> worth everything. 
can't wait to climb that tower with you. And we'll see how the white sand meets the blue ocean. Like, and see the dolphins frolic. I want to frolic with you. I've wanted it Armando. for the longest time, Josephine. Armando, this, this 43rd anniversary is the most memorable so far that we have. <sighs> 43 years and you haven't aged at all. Well, you know me, my shine comes from within. From within, shining from within, like, like sucking out the life from me. <laughs> you shine while you suck. Armando, out. how dare you? It's too early for that. Let's talk about that later. Edit. <clears throat> nice work. Six months in and look at the muscles you've developed. You are doing so well. Thanks. I mean, you less so because, you know, you're here maybe one session in six, but, I mean, Malcolm, you've got it going on I, because I, he's not a quitter. Thanks, Tammy. <laughs> no, I came back. I came back because I realized that I was exhausted and I was impulsive in quitting and I don't want to get divorced. Well, that's a relief because that was honestly above my pay grade. I'm a, I'm a physical therapist because I didn't get the grades to be a psychologist. So thank God you're back together. You mean it? You ready to? Melissa? I mean it. Now, hold I mean on, Tammy. We don't need to, we don't need to, to lift right now. This is about our relationship. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. It just, I, I must have had horribly low blood sugar and. These last six months without you, Melissa, I've been, been racking my brain. What did I do wrong? I, yeah. Was I too weak for you? Was I, did I no. lack the muscle tone that people of my age begin to get it. No, I, I feel so ashamed that I did that and and I regret it and and I regret all the affairs that I've had in these past six months. No one holds up to you. I don't even care. You don't? No. I just want you back in my life. I'm here. I'm back. And if I need to do this stupid exercise stuff. I don't want, I don't care about the exercise. Oh. Okay. True story. So I, um, uh, the first dinner party that I ever threw, I was in my very early twenties and I felt really, really grown up. And over the course of that, um, uh, the, uh, the couple that were there had the most ridiculous fight and they broke up and then made up like an hour later and it was the worst. And I realized that I had just been sitting there absolutely silent for easily 45 minutes. I don't care, Melissa. Listen, right now, I think I'm gonna, I think we should renew our wedding vows. Just oh, yes. Right here, right, right now. Here. Can you do that? Is yes. that above your pay grade? Well, look, you do whatever lovey-dovey shit you want to do, but uh, I've got another client at half past two, so can you either do it oh, quickly? You're staying or... right here, Tammy, no. until we're done. That's right. <laughs> you are going to marry us again. I mean, if you want to be married in the Cut Price Dodgy Brothers gym, then, I mean, you yes. can get married in the Cut Price Dodgy Brothers gym. Right? I would like it up. nothing more. Yes, exactly. Right, right now. In this Grab moment. yourselves in and get ready for to be Wait. your best selves and shine. Where, where'd you go? Oh no, what's going on? 
Gentlemen, you're Hi. Back. Yeah. Um, thank Sorry. you so much. Uh, we do want to return this, but not for the reason, not for the reason that you think. Uh, long story short, it did, our, our wishes did not come true, but we did shine this and a goat came out. I'm just going to, um, I told you that this lamp has something of a history, so I'm just going to pull out the ledger and give all of the reasons that this particular lamp has been returned. Great. Phil, now listen. Um, was led to believe it was magic when it in fact wasn't. Um, was led to believe that it was magic when it in fact wasn't. Was led to believe that it was magic when it in fact wasn't. Was led to believe it was magic when in fact wasn't. I There's see a pattern. No data here. So can I just ask, really honestly and earnestly, do you just have goats in your home? Let's be honest. Oh, no. change, okay. All right, it's just a little embarrassing. All right, you would answer. You answer. Yes, we have eleven goats and twenty six lamps at home. <laughs> so, so when when during my childhood, I used to enjoy magicians. I always looked at magicians and they were like my role models. Like they are so suspicious and mysterious. And I went to a place called Manali. It's, it's in like the hills of India. And I, I went there and there was a magic shop. I went into it and there was it. Everything was in front of me. All the magic trick that, do you want to see the rope that can untie itself? Do you want to see the coin flip, the, the broken coin and the, the glass? I was heartbroken, but I, I, I bought for four magic tricks that was there so I, I i got myself a good deal like he gave discount on the other two so yeah <laughs> yeah being oh. in her bedroom doesn't feel magical anymore i mean we have animals and stacks of lamp beside our bed I, i'm so sorry can i just can i just pitch something to you it feels yes like there's you're looking for a lot of external magic in in your relationship. It feels like like that's a lot of goats. That that's I dare say too many goats for people who have no see and and they're here. Um, that's also a lot of lamps. I'm noticing. Can I just I tell you that I see a lot of couples in here. A lot of people who obviously just need to sort of look inward and see one another for the love and magic that may already be there because you can buy all the goats and lamps in the world, but I promise you, nothing will beat the love and support you can give one another. Wow, shopping wow. is indeed therapeutic. It really, it really is, it really is. All right. Eric, so how does it feel uh, for waking up for like a week now? <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm out of words. I, I think that was the great. It's, 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 a, it's okay. It's okay that I just, um, it, I, I, I've reached a point in my life that um, I need to make a, a turn. So I know expecting me to um to do the same i mean once you retire i'll be next one on your position but i i really can't i just i coffee is not something i need anymore in my life so i just want to be a tea farmer Plenty, something simple, doesn't require much 
thinking wait wait wait, wait, wait. You, you 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 said what you want to be a, a tea farmer tea, that is tea, that tea is farmer. the rival that is my that is the rivalry of coffee you know that the, the, you know tea and coffee tea versus coffee it's always been the number one in history a few years from now i want to have my own farm and um you know um plant my own um um, vegetables and harvest them so that I don't have to depend on groceries and, you know, focus on healthy, healthy stuff. Healthy living is the key to long life. Why? I, I need, I grew tired of living in your shadow that it's just i just want a different path for me like uh, <sighs> coffee is fun coffee increases your blood pressure coffee is good for headaches it increases your headaches it increases your heart rate it, i don't know like what what's wrong it's just like it's all medically it's wrong but it's good it's you see, you're yawning after the bus crash. Before that, you were very, very active. I was happy to see you active. Coffee is the future. People die soon because of that. But that I just want to choose. I just want to rival you. I just want to be a rival. And tea is the right, is the way through it so that it is that it is this is this is goodbye and the next time we'll meet it will be a no face off you, between coffee and tea you are you are you are already in losses tea is not good i I will not give you my inheritance. That's what I've decided. Either you go with coffee or I won't give you my inheritance after I, I die. And that is our show. Let's bring everybody back. As we listen to this beautiful theme music by the hey, wonderful I'm gonna Joe. Spend a little time. And as we finish up our show tonight, uh, and today, and tomorrow, whatever day it is where you are, uh, if you have something you'd like to share that's coming up improv or non-improv related, uh, just tell us in this room, who's got something coming up? Anyone? Have some fun, them and me. George, then Carolyn. Yeah, Ridgely Show coming up in a few hours. Right. <laughs> 11 <laughs> hours from are now. You? Ah, George. 11 oh. hours from now, you can see George again. Uh, and our team of Ridgely folks from Canada, the U.S., and the Philippines. Awesome. Uh, Carolyn. Yeah, tonight, um, Eastern Time, 8.30, um, I'll be on the house team messing. First, uh, our first show with the uh, Improv Festival. Awesome, fantastic, great. Anyone else have anything else to promote? All right. Well, we uh, are back uh, again in 11 hours for our next show. And then Wednesday, uh, we have our team, the Tooth Fairy Conspiracy, coming up. Uh, so we will awkwardly wave goodbye and listen to this fabulous Not music. Rush. Not of us. Have a seat. Let down your hair. I'm so happy you're on this ride. 